Hey divers, today we have some fun. This is Ali Pierce Scuba, and I'm going to cause some problems today. Yeah, I am going to cause some problems because I'm going to tell you something that is absolutely contrary to anything you've ever heard before. Your instructor told you, and your dive buddies told you, and the service tech at your local dive store told you, and everybody told you. I'm going to tell you differently. That's right. You know when you rinse your regulator. <clears throat> I had a couple of tech tips on rinsing regulators already. You know, you soak it and everything else and all that. You, know, you make sure everything's good and, and all that kind of stuff. You know that you must not push the purge button on the second stage. Right? Wrong. Push the purge button if you want to. I could care less. No, I don't mean I could care less because it's your regulator, not mine. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Let me explain. If any of you have any technical expertise, you might understand this better, but I'm going to make this simple. So even divers, oh, I didn't mean that. I'm going to make it nice and simple so that anybody can understand. All right, let me explain. We have a regulator, and you've been diving with it. Wonderful. So you now you take the regulator off the tank, right here off, you purge. That was me. You take the regulator off, and the first thing you do, as you know from my other tech tips, is you make sure that the dust cap is put in there nice and clean. This dust cap is one of those silly ones that has a great big hole in it. Can you see that there? Silly, silly, silly. It holds all kinds of water. You don't want water in there where my thumb is. I already put my thumb in there. If you've seen that tick tip, tech tip and how to take the regulator up properly. You know what I'm doing here. So now you see I do it automatically. So you can take that and clean it out with your mouth. Not with air from the tank. No, 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 no. Read that tech tip. You understand why? Nice and spotlessly clean. So now you slide it into place and now you put the, uh, the knob screw down on there snugly. Don't jam it, just snugly. Okay, that's sealed. So the first stage is completely sealed. You don't want water in the first stage. Okay. Now let me clarify. There are holes in the first stage. Can you see these holes there, Kevin? Can you actually see through those holes, Kevin? Now, if I move them a bit, can you see light through there? Anyway, those holes go right through. They go right in there. So if you put this first stage into water, give it a little bit of a shake. I see the bubbles coming out. Pick it up. There's water inside that first stage. Now, let me, be, let me clarify again. There's a rubber diaphragm right down the middle, right down the middle there. So there's water comes in on this side, acts on that rubber diaphragm, which seals the water from going into the actual mechanism, the valve over here. So there's water just in this part. It's supposed to be there. That's why you rinse it. You soak it, and you rinse it so fresh water goes in there, rinses out the sand and the salt, and makes your first stage just like new. Okay, beautiful. Now, while you're soaking this, you should be soaking the hose. You should be pulling. I've done all these things previously. You should be pulling back these hose protectors to expose this metal here, which gets awfully corroded. Soak that as well. And some of these rakes today, I have no idea why, they have a hose protector on the second stage on the swivel. I don't know why they do that. It's black rubber. whoop they do It doesn't look all that good. And I think the chrome looks nice. And all that does, if people don't take that off, after a while, First of all, the swivel stops swiveling. Secondly, all these fittings get dirty and grubby and corroded. But anyway, if you have it on your regulator, it makes it at least pull it back. Now, everybody has told you that when you have the second stage in the water like that, okay? Now, you know the second stage fills up with water because when you, when you take it out of your mouth underwater, you have to purge it. It fills up. <clears throat> but everybody tells you, don't push the purge button when you're rinsing your regulator. Don't push the purge button on the second stage because water will go up the hose into the first stage and ruin it. No. And even some of you guys that are service techs, you're going to say, what's he talking about? Of course it will. No, it won't. Why would it? Water doesn't do anything contrary to physics. Water only does what it's allowed to do by physical laws. There's no reason in the world why water will go up that hose. Let me explain. First of all, let's take a look at this second stage. Okay, here's the second stage that you've been using. I'm going to take it apart. I've already removed some of the parts. There's a ring to hold it in place. There's the cover, and there's a rubber diaphragm. That comes out of there. Now, look, it's all wet in there. Of course it is, because the mouthpiece leads right... Now, you can see through there, Kevin. Surely you can see through there. Exactly right. So when you drop this second stage into the water, water goes in through the mouthpiece, and it goes right inside behind the diaphragm. And, of course, it goes in in front of the diaphragm, too, because the cover has all kinds of holes in it. So the second stage has water on both sides. That's okay. It's supposed to have, again, a reason why you soak this thoroughly. You don't just rinse it off quickly with the garden hose. You soak it for a while so this, the water dissolves any of the salt and sand, and you rinse it out really, really well, then soak it again and rinse it out really, really well. So what's this about the purge valve? Well, there's a lever in here, you see, and that lever opens and closes. And when it's depressed, open, 
okay? It actually opens up so that air can come out of the hose into your mouth. You see, the diaphragm goes on. Let me show you how it works. The diaphragm goes on like that. Watch. When I suck on it, the diaphragm moves in, and air comes in the first stage into my mouth. Oh, yeah, that's the way it works. So <clears throat> for years, people have been saying, don't push the purge button. And the reasoning was that if you push the purge button, then the water that you're rinsing the regulator in will go up the hose. No. Let me explain why. It's not a big deal. Now, I'm not saying that you should push the purge button. I'm saying don't panic. Don't panic if it happens. I'm going to take the hose off of here. Okay, okay there's the hose. That's gone. So there's a the little valve in there. Here's the hose with a little hole in the end. So <clears throat> all this time they've been saying don't push the purge button because if you do, water will go past the valve and go up this hose and that water will travel all the way up this 27 inch hose all the way into the first stage and hurt the first stage. No. Why would it? There's air in here. That air is trapped in there. That air is trapped in there because you put the rubber seal, the dust cap, on there. So if water wants to go up this hose, it has to compress this air in that hose. It has to compress the air in that whole hose to force its way up and it gets longer, farther and farther. More and more pressure as it tries to pressure because the air that's in here is, builds up pressure. The water is not going to go up that hose. It's simply not going to happen. Certainly not if you just do just a couple of drops. So the likelihood that water will travel all the way up that, that, that little hole, all the way up, compressing the air as it goes, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So not a big deal. I know some people are saying, what? You know, I've been hearing that for years. If you press the purge button when you're rinsing, you just ruined your regulator. i got to take it in and pay the guy at the dye store 50 bucks to dry it and everything else. And I have to be honest with you. Over the years, people have brought in regulars and said, I pushed the purge button. I think I got water in the first stage. And I have actually dried it for them. No, I didn't charge them $50. But I have actually dried it for them. And by drying, let me show you what happens. So someone comes in, and they, they, they have pushed the purge button, you know, and, and, and they, want, they want me to dry it out. So here's what I do. I put the regulator onto a tank, or in this case, onto my test bench. I take the second stage off, and I turn it on. Okay, that's enough. Dry. The air coming out of there is bone dry. It came from our compressed bone dry. So it blew through there, through the first day, right through this hose, out the end. Okay, good. All right, there you go. $50? I don't think so. Not at this dive store. Maybe some. Put it back on. But can you understand what I'm trying to say here? That if you do push the purge button accidentally or um, for whatever reason, provided that first stage is sealed, you got the dust cap on, and the dust cap will be on when you go to rinse your regulator, right? You got water's not going to go up that hose. Highly unlikely. One of those things that people have, and I got thinking about this the other day, somebody asked me about it. I got thinking, I'm saying, water's not going to go up that hose. Why would it force its way up against the air pressure? Not going to happen. Just a small thing. Maybe this is new for you, and maybe you have no idea what I'm talking about, but you enjoy my antics. Or maybe you're saying to yourself, gosh, you know, he's right. I can use this information at the next club meeting when we go for a beer afterwards. I can bet somebody a beer that, anyway, whatever. I hope you uh, think about it at the very least and learn something and had a little bit of fun. Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips. I'll talk to you real soon.